Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV. You want to see more TV regarding septic tanks, uh, live broadcasts, free help, free advice, and just go to Septic Tank TV, type it in on Google, or just visit septictank.co.uk. So in today's live broadcast, I'm answering the question, which septic tank is best? Now, you could say that's a loaded question. You could say, oh, he's going to be biased now. No, I'm just going to give you the facts. You decide for yourself which septic tank is best. But I will tell you what I think is best based on the facts. So forget bias because I'm an independent septic tank consultant. So there's two types of septic tanks on the UK market. There's two types of septic tanks on the UK market. All right. So there is uh, an onion style shape septic tank or there is a bullet style septic tank all right so let me show you the difference between the two so let's say this is the grass all right that's your grass all right and let's say uh these are just uh for a normal one to two bedroom property so this is what an onion shaped septic tank typically looks like you'll have to forgive me for my drawing but i don't know why they're called an onion shaped septic tank or they're like a mushroom shape septic tank or an upside down light, light bulb, but that's what they look like. They came on the scenes in the late 80s, early 90s, and they're very popular. Um, they're made of fiberglass. Um, and uh, yeah, and so they basically replace the old concrete septic tank. So that's what the onion shaped septic tank looks like. The bullet shaped septic tank is a modern septic tank, it's new technology, space age technology. And if I just do that, that is the difference, okay, of what they look like. So both of those will be the same capacity. Um, this has got like a, a rib design, looks like a bullet. It's low profile. So that's the difference <coughs> of designer tanks. So this has been around for uh, 30 years. This has been around for about two or three years. Okay, so um, number one. Okay, so for me, I'm looking at old technology and new new technology here. Back in the day, these were fantastic. Uh, in the day now, these are fantastic, right? So I put both of these in. So obvious differences to begin with is the height, all right? So with the onion-shaped septic tanks, as you can see, they're three times deeper to install than a bullet shaped septic tank, that's a fact, okay? So you need a bigger digger, which means more money. Um, I'm just giving you, when you're buying a septic tank, don't go for the initial price that they're you know, cheap to buy. You've got to look at the entire cost of what it's going to cost you to install that septic tank, okay? So um, based on that, so you're going to need a bigger digger. It's going to take you longer to dig the hole, especially if you're digging in dry clay, and it's going to cost you more fuel. Uh, the hole for the bullet shaped septic tank, it takes you about an hour to install once you've dug the hole. This generally takes a day, day and a half to dig the hole. Once you've dug the hole and put it in, you've then got to anchor these septic tanks down with uh, the onion shaped one with a concrete lintel because they've got a terrible tendency of popping up out the ground. I had a guy ring me up funnily enough yesterday, day before pulling his hair out because his septic tank had popped out the ground, his onion one. So you've got to anchor them down. Uh, the anchoring, you use a concrete lintel and straps, typically about two, 300 quid. The bullet-shaped septic tank, you don't need to anchor it down, all right? Because of its design, um, it just doesn't pop out the ground. It's, it's like a submarine, you know, they're designed to stay in water, you know, if, if the ground was waterlogged. Number two, with the onion tank, you've got to put a complete concrete surround or blanket around it. Um, or they will not be warranted by the manufacturer. The manufacturer will not warranty it. It'll be null and void. Typically it costs six, seven, 800 quid to concrete an onion shaped septic tank. With the bullet shaped septic tank, oops, all you need to do is put in some granular backfill, like some gravel, some sand, or some shingle. <clears throat> uh, costs you about uh, I don't know, a couple hundred quid to do that, compared to 800 quid. So 
when you've concreted the onion tank in, you've obviously got to wait a day or two for it to set. So these will take a week to install. And typically, they cost, a time. by the time you've finished, they cost about, oh man, alive, anywhere from like 1,000 to 1,500 quid to install. All right? And then you've got the price of the tank on top of that. With the bullet tank, they typically cost about, I don't know, uh, three to 400 quid to install. So that will take you a week to install. That will take uh, two hours to install. So there you go. That is the difference between um, modern septic tanks. <clears throat> so when you ask me the question, which was, which septic tank is best? Personally, I think the bullet-shaped septic tank wins hands down every time for the reasons I've stated. So I hope that's answered your question. I hope that's helped. If you want more free help, more free advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. Give me a ring. And I look forward to speaking to you soon.